complete how to add a driver? Welcome to Fleet Talks dashboard. So today in this session, we will get to know how to add uh, our driver. And uh, as you can see, we have our fleet dashboard. And uh, on the left hand side in the navigation bar, we have uh, drivers. I'm just going to click on the drivers. And on the right hand side, you can see we will be going to add a new driver. So now you can see here, we are going to add a new driver. We've got a few options. And uh, the very first option you can see in the basic details that is driver type. So we have two options that is employee and contractor. So uh, today I will be starting with the employee. And in the employee, I'm going to add uh, a new driver. So there is a uh, employee ID from the company, which I'm going to give it to them. And uh, it is uh, 10078. And the status I'm putting it's active. I'm only going to fill up uh, all the mandatory fields so that uh, the options uh, in the optional field we can fill later according to our uh, our convenience. And for the username, we it is a unique one. So at this stage, uh, I have a driver Rav who is uh, 1990. I'm just giving him uh, his uh, birth date for uh, 1990, which is going to be 99 December number 10. So you can see here, and uh, his name is uh, very interesting. If you want to put the middle name, we can always put the middle name in. And of course, we need a password. So the password, I'm just going to put it over here. And in this, we got option for uh, an I. You can always click it and always check the password even. And uh, if there will be anything, we can um, always double check it. And otherwise, we have to add a phone number, which is going to be his number and his email. So this is going to be, I'm just putting his email over here. And uh, after that, you can see that we got a validation says Ravindra is already exists. So I'm just going to put it uh, another way. And I'm just going to keep moving forward. The start date, which is uh, year started in 2022 on the 1st January and uh, the citizenship, it depends which is it. If he's in Canada, we can always put uh, the Canada and it will appear in the drop down. And most importantly, we need to put uh, the uh, add abstract history document. It is uh, regarding uh, his uh, driving history and which he will going to provide us. And I'm just going to put up a, 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 a test one. So uh, I have uh, one text, so it is attached. And of course, with a picture, we can always add a, add a picture here if you want. So it will be easy for us whether he's a male or female, and we can always have an option in this. Moving forward in that case, uh, we have another one is driver address. This is a type. So I'm just going to put uh, an address over here. And uh, you can see I've uh, put uh, the FLD address and it uh, is automatically comes up in the drop down. So we always have to click that one so that uh, it will uh, pick up uh, our location. And we have another option for manually. If we want to put the manual address, we can always put the manual address. But we have to take this one so that we can put the manual address. And uh, in that way, it, it's just a lot easier for us. The next part is for the document details. In the document details, we have a couple of options. These are all the optional fields. You can always fill up when, if required, uh, according to the company and all the carrier. So moving forward for the cross-border details, we have, uh, a couple of options for ACI and ACE and even fast card uh, numbers and the expiry options. We can always fill if the driver is going to the cross border. And uh, there's an important information for the license details. We always have to click up uh, for the license detail. And uh, in that case, I'm just going to put up uh, the expiration date, which is going to be, uh, I can say in 2023 Jan, and uh, it will be expiring in next year. And uh, of course, it's going to be the Canada, and uh, we have to always select from the drop down. And 
Apart from that, we have an option for send notification, which is uh, for before 30 days, it will uh, give us uh, an email and to the driver so that uh, we should know that uh, in 30 days, his uh, license is, is going to expire and he has to renew it. We have another options for WCV numbers and medical card renewals. So we can always uh, put it a uh, uh, number if a driver have anything. And apart from that, if we want to uh, get to know which driver is driving that vehicle, is it a heavy or light, light vehicle? We can always choose it from the given uh, uh, drop down. Now, this is the most important part because because, uh, because without this, uh, the driver won't be uh, won't get paid. So there are four options for uh, for the driver payments. And in this, you can see that we have paper mile percentage, hourly and delivery. So we always have to select the appropriate one, which uh, of how we are paying the driver. For example, uh, the driver is getting uh, for the loading miles in Canadian or USD. You always have to select it. And of course, with the empty one, I'm just going to fill up uh, in the in, in the Canadian one. And if there is anything in the in the loaded miles in the team, like for example, there are two uh, teams going for the for the same delivery, and uh, we can always give them according to the prices with the loaded and with the empty miles. So you can see here it will automatically come the currency part and. Um, Moreover, you can see we have a SIN number. In SIN number, it is an optional field. You can put it or uh, write it down in this, or if you don't want it, it's it's totally fine. This is not mandatory field. So, but the mandatory part is the pay period. So, how we are paying to the driver? We got a couple of options. You can choose any of them, but I'm choosing at the stage monthly. So, uh, this is how we're going to pay the or uh, uh, file the driver's details. How we're going to pay them. So the next is the compliance part. This is uh, the most important one even. So we got two options in the status. It's a, it is non-exempted and exempted. So uh, I'm just gonna show the exempted one first. In the exempted part, you can see we got four options here in the type. We got the logbook. So of course, in the exempted part, the driver is, is, is exempted. He can use the logbook rather than ELD. And for that, he has a home terminal from where the carrier is. So I'm just going to, uh, Put uh, the Ontario Canada one and his operating zone is Canada, uh, the south one. And apart from that, I'm choosing his the home terminal, so time zone. So uh, I'm just going to choose uh, an example of Toronto. And now you can see this is the exempted part. And now if I'm coming back to the non non exempted where we are using the ELD. So in that you can see I've already filled uh, the type, just changed it. Now it's going to be ELD rather than a logbook because he's not exempted driver. So we have chosen the home terminal, the operating zone and the time zone. But now I have uh, to choose a cycle. So we have four cycles, two for US and the two for Canada South. So in that case, at the moment, the driver is driving in the Canada. So he's driving for 70 hours, seven days. I'm choosing that one. And we have another one for 120 hours for 14 days. In that case, I'm choosing at the stage 70 hours, seven days. And uh, in this, we can always allow the driver to drive in the personal convenience and as a, so that uh, we can give him just a, in, um, an, extra, an extra benefit for him. And apart from that, uh, you can also, we are allowing him for yard move. It depends on the carrier. If they want to allow them, we have to take it the box or else we have to untick it. So I'm just going to tick at the stage so that uh, the non-exempted driver, he can drive it. And apart from that, we have uh, uh, emergency contact details. If uh, we have anything, we always can uh, fill it up. Like I'm just going to move it for example, is Sandy. I'm just to put it his name. And if he has a relationship with a friend or anything, we can always type in there. And now you can see, I'm just going to save it. So I've saved it and uh, you can always uh, uh, save it to your system. And uh, in that case, uh, it is easy for remember the driver. And uh, now you can see the driver has uh, is added successfully. And uh, Ravindu Singh, you can see on the list page that we have added his details. Our driver has been saved. So now what we're going to do is, uh, I'm just going to uh, let you know about the contract for even. Now you can see that uh, I've already uh, added this driver. And uh, now in this, in the contractor part, we have two options. 
So we got company and owner operator. So in company, uh, if I have, I'm going to select company, then uh, what I did is I've already added uh, an ad in, in our address book, the vendor. So under the name of Lancaster Logistics. So I only have to click uh, onto the Lancaster Logistics and it will be, uh, this is how we're gonna add it uh, under the username of RAV1990 so that he will be coming under the company or else if uh, we're gonna add uh, through the owner operator, we just need to click the owner operator and it will becomes under the lens logistics. So this is how company and uh, owner operator works. I'm just going to click uh, save it under the owner operator and we don't have to do anything else apart from that we have already added in the employee. And uh, if you want to change any kind of address, you can always add uh, the address by clicking onto the plus button. And uh, apart from that, uh, uh, you can see if there is anything uh, I can say about uh, the default payment type, because what happens is usually for the employees, we have different uh, uh, per mile rates. We got, pay we got different uh, paper delivery. So we can always uh, change it over here. And uh, in that case, you, uh, the accounts in the accounts department, they can easily identify and uh, they can easily pay to the owner operator or to the company. So I'm just going to click onto the uh, save and our update. You can see the driver has been updated success successfully. So now it is coming under the owner operator, which is Lens Logistics, or if I'm going to through the company, it is going to the, will be coming under the Lancaster Logistics. So now this is how uh, our driver, how, how we are adding the driver and uh, through the, uh, in, in our dashboard. And of course, uh, uh, with the, the two options we have provided for the employee and the contractor. And uh, thank you. Please check out uh, the other videos too on this channel. And uh, for more information, visit our website, fleethawks.com. Thank you. Fleet Hawks, a telematics company. To know more, visit our website, www.fleethawks.com.